What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Android server on my man Kill Jorn's account. We got 70,000 gems ready to roll for heroes for Hero Collector. It is also plants for prizes on Android today. So of course mainly we're going to be looking for Commodora. He did send me a message online and said this account is missing three heroes. We're missing Commodora. We are also missing Mahatma and Rowdy Rascal. So we're definitely going to be cheering for all three of those. No doubt about it. And 70,000 gems. Hopefully all three will show up if we get lucky. So Commodore hands out the level 9 talent rune, also the level 8 stone skin insignia, which is okay. We also got the 100 blessed tome 3s. As far as Professor Ribbit goes, we got the 50 scraps for Professor Ribbit, which are useless. We also got the two Prime Hero card 3s, which are okay. That means they're probably going to be coming out with a Prime Hero card 4, honestly, uh, in the near future because we have so many heroes that aren't available through Hero Cards now. It also gives out the... Sheriff Scraps, and as far as 15 Gelatinous Champions goes, we'll definitely, well, we might not definitely, but we should definitely get 15 Gelatinous Champions with 70,000 gems, no doubt about that. Although re the rewards for the Gelatinous is honestly aren't that great today. So let's go ahead and get in the altar, take a quick peek at this man's talent, see if there's anything crazy unusual. That's what, that's really what I like to do whenever I sign on people's account. I'm like, hmm. I might want to test that out. Just take a peek and see if they do anything that's out of the box. we got a level 8 revitalize on that Cupid. That's the first time I think I've seen a level 8 revitalized talent. Not bad, my friend. Not bad at all. Gain 100% energy at the start plus that extra attack. However, Cupid really doesn't even need extra attack. So that's kind of useless for Cupid. So yeah, not a bad. Ooh, what do we got on the Boogeyman there? We got level 5 Enlighten. Can never go wrong with Enlighten. It's always nice to get that extra experience. Let's make sure we have enough room in the warehouse. I'm definitely going to make sure all the eggs are cleared as soon as we roll 900 gems. Let's see. We got about 30 spots in the warehouse. As for backups, got quite the selection of backup heroes as well. So not bad. All right, come on. We need to see what's missing, boys. I'm feeling like Mahatma and Commodore should show up this session 100%. Oh, we got those eggs. All right, let's go ahead and just remove the eggs right away. Get rid of these freaking eggs because they have been bringing me some bad luck lately. And now it's time to get that Commodore of one top. All right, Commodore, show up for your boy. We start off with a Medusa. We got Mahatma. Nice. That's a very good start off. So we got one of the three legends missing on this account. Now we only need two more. We need to see Rowdy Rascals and... Obviously, Commodora. What's Mahatma going to be born with? I'm feeling like a 5 of 8 something. What do we got? We got level 2 Deadly Strike. Level 3 Deadly Strike. All right, garbage. I was just guessing with the level 2 just for fun. All right, come on. We got Druid. Come on, Commodora. Wow, three Crystal Oozes. Another Druid. Stay away, Druid. We do not care about Druids. Get out of here with that trash. 10,000 gems in. Come on, we got a Cupid. No thanks to you, Professor Ribbit. Look who showed up. The man himself, Professor Ribbit. All right, well, we get the Prime 3s plus also the extra scraps. This does, this guy does, this account does have Minnow, so at least we'll get some use out of the scraps. We got Medusa. Come on, we need to see Commodora, baby. We got Harpy Queen. No thank you there. Come on, baby. Commodora one time. We got another Cupid, a Boogeyman, Dread Drink, and Candy Cane. Okay, so and Dufkin. Wow. All right, boys. Y'all know what's coming next. Commodore is coming next. Come on, Commodore. Where you at? We got Michael. It's just too much of a hot streak to even close right now. Come on. Give me that, Commodore. We got another Michael plus a ninja. We've seen a lot of gelatinous champions there. Come on, Commodore us up. Next legend. It's not Commodore. Oh, Beast Tamer? Hmm. And a champion. All right, let's exit out for a quick minute. Go ahead and collect these rewards. Let's see. Do we get how many gelatinouses do we have total? We got the Frost Witch that we needed for the 1,000. But three? What? 28,000 gems and we've gotten three? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. All right, well, we need to see some more gelatinouses. No doubt about that. Some more gelatinouses and Commodore. There's a gelatinous. There's another gelatinous and another one. So we got three real quick right there. There's another one for the fourth one. All right, come on. We need to see Commodore. Can we see some legends? Like, oh, yeah, you want gelatinouses? Here's some gelatinouses, but you ain't gonna get any legends. We got Paladin and Dread Drake. Most Commodores I've rolled have been from 150s. That's why I'm, playing. That's why I'm kind of clicking that 150 so much. There's another gelatinous. We got a Candy Cane with a gelatinous plus a Trentar. We got 30,000 gems left. Come on, Commodora. Where you at, my friend? There's another gelatinous champion. How many is that? 10 total? 10 total, yep. All right, so we need five left. Let's go ahead and remove this thing for good luck. Now, Commodore, it's time to show up, baby. Commodore and Rowdy Rascals. Come on, Rowdy Rascals. Come on, Commodore. Rowdy Rascals, you ask, you receive, boys. 
Next legend, what is it? It's my man, Rowdy. All right, let's go ahead and open up Rowdy Rascals. What do we got Rowdy born with? I'm thinking five of eight, Zealous Drive one time. Come on. Oh, what is that? What is that on Rowdy? That's Iron Wheel. Ooh, level one Iron Wheel garbage. All right, let's keep on going. The only legend missing on this account now is Commodora. So, obviously, that's who we're cheering for. Come on, Commodore. Another Mahatma? Okay, we'll take another Mahatma. Cupid as well. We do need to see that Commodore, though. We got Candy Cane and Sucky. We still got 20,000 gems left. Come on, Commodore. We got Heartbreaker. No thank you there. We got Gelatinous Phantom King and Pumpkin Duke. Walla Walla. Haven't seen Walla in a little while. We got Dracax. Another Cupid. That's a lot of Gelatinous Champions here at the end, so that should clear that up. Nope. 14. Still need one more. All right. One more Gelatinous. One more Gelatinous and a Commodore in the same role would be nice. Come on, Commodore. Ugh. Come on, Heartbreaker. Gosh, dude. Come on, Commodora. Got another, like, 6,000 gems left to roll. There's our final gelatinous. We got Dove Keeper and Beast Tamer. Wow, a couple Dove Keepers in this session. All right, let's go ahead and collect this, clear the mailbox, and then roll another 4,000 gems. He did tell me to save him 8,000 gems, so we're going to do that. We got Skull Knight. That might have been a triple legend right there because I saw three legends in a row. Come on, we need Commodore. Oh, I didn't mean to even click that 350, but we'll increase the slots by... Five more. Come on, Dread Drake. No, thank you. Commodore, show up right at the end, baby. Ooh, what was that? Tell me that was Commodore. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. I don't know what that was, but it wasn't Commodore. No Valentinas either. All right, one more 150, two more 150s, two more 450s to end the session. Come on, Commodore. Ah, Santa Boom, last 450 is <laughs> straight junk. All right, well, we had a solid session, I would say. At least we got two of the heroes, plus actually a couple extra backups of the heroes as well. And we got, like, all kinds of other legends that were pretty good. I mean, Dove Keeper, we got Boogeyman, I back up Mahatma, we got Professor Ribbit, which is in Hero Collector. We got some other good legends as well. So, overall, I mean, not the worst session, no doubt about that. But and for those of you guys who did want to see Plant for Prizes, figure we might as well add it to the end of this video. Why not? So let's go ahead and end it with some Plants for Prizes. I believe we should have, what, at least over 25 tries. That way we can see what we get from the goods. Now remember, make sure you plant your seed first. <laughs> I guess we don't have to plant our seed first. It must have already been planted for us. All right, we got a legendary event hero card. What else do we got coming? We got battlefield. Ooh, I forgot that they had battlefield cards in Plant for Prizes. That's probably that's probably the best reward from Plant for Prizes now. What else do we have in here? We got the tokens too, which is definitely nice to see the tokens. We got legendary hero card. I think Plant for Prizes is... The only place that they hand out Lost Battlefield cards now. I haven't even seen them in the bazaar in like a long time. I don't know. Can you get them from Uncover the Treasures? I don't think so. So yeah, Battlefield cards are definitely nice to see. They're pretty rare to have too. You can always sneak in there with a Battlefield card and go ahead and snipe out first place um, from Lost Battlefield. Still got the Pet Bag 1s, which is absolutely useless. How have they not upgraded this in this event to at least Pet Bag 2s? It's like, really? Come on. Give me that goods one time. What else do we got? We got quest refresh card. Those are pretty much useless unless you need honor badges. I mean, they're good for free to play. Also, if you need gems for the uh, for the talent refresh, right? And you get some free hero rolls too. What I like to do with the quest, quest refresh cards, at least on my free to play, anytime there's hero collector up, I always make sure I use all my quest refreshes during that day because sometimes those free 150 rolls that you get help out a lot and they can snatch up a hero from hero collector right you know what i mean especially if you're looking for crystal ooze or something like that remember always to do those extra quests because i mean out of the four or five quests that you do in one day normally you'll get at least one that's a free hero roll if not two maybe even three if you get lucky sometimes four if you get crazy lucky all right we got a legendary pet egg what else do we got we got 500 shards junk come on give me another battlefield card i feel like i did this last time playing for prizes a while back and I never even saw a Battlefield card, I don't think. Battlefield cards are pretty rare. Talent refresh card and... Oh, what? Please collect your reward first. What is my reward? Come on, give me my reward. My reward, I'm guessing it's going to be... What is it going to be? Level 7 talent runs? <laughs> How did I know? That was such a good guess. All right, what do we got for the 50 piece reward since we can't get it? Ooh, level 8 talent runs. All right, I think that's the best thing you can get from the 50. Um... 50 plant for prizes attempts. All right, what else do we got? We only got eight. I might as well collect the rest of these just so that guy doesn't get left out with not uh, fertilizing his plants here. All right, we got the <laughs> refresh card. 
Jug. Nobody cares about a legendary hero card. No thank you. Come on, give me another Battlefield card. Talent refresh. So Battlefield cards are nice as well for even pretty much for players all the way around the board. I mean, if you're a top player, it helps you get to rank one spot. If you're not a top player, it helps you beat a thousand total points, which gives you a ton more gems. So either way, it's nice. But yeah, that pretty much does it for the video. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.